Um, here, Don says, that is so wrong. Men should not have to always pay. I'm just going to jump in this conversation. Listen, when I shared the story of taking that female friend out for dinner, I said right up front before I, we went out, I said, I'm going to pay because I wanted to come from a place of generosity. It was just a friend. I believe that the idea of men should pay is an old, outdated idea, especially now that women can make as much or in depth more than any individual man that they go out with. Forgetting the collective, if you're a woman who makes $150,000 a year and you're with a man who makes $120,000 a year, you can make more than a man, number one. Paying for a date is not a man's responsibility. There, I said it. Now, if he was raised the way I was raised, it's an expectation for us to do it. But I don't like that it's an expectation. I don't. I don't like that. Because it's not coming from a place of generosity. It's not coming from a place of my heart. It's coming from any, and any woman who expects it, in my mind, is a taker if she expects it. Now, I, we can all say, well, Jonathan, men are do the asking out. Well, when you're meeting someone online for the first time and the guy takes the initiative, that's not really asking you out on a date. That's basically saying, I want to meet you. Let's get together. So I would prefer that human beings in the beginning stages take turns. Man picks up the tab the first time. Woman picks up the tab the next time. He picks up the tab the next time. She picks up the tab. And after you've gone on three or four or five dates, depending on who makes the most money, the person who makes the most should contribute the most to the entertainment. It is Now, some of you women will say, Jonathan, we women spend all this money getting dressed up for a date. Ladies, when you're meeting a guy for the first time, are you dropping a couple hundred bucks on your outfit, your hair and everything? And if you are, that's on you. That's not on him. What about the $80,000 education he had to pay for? What about the $80,000 car he had to pay for? I'm just throwing in shit like that. But And when you go out with your girlfriends all dressed up, do you make your girlfriend pay? Would you go out and night out in the town? No. So why should that be a man's responsibility? That narrative fucking drives me nuts, okay? And for the woman who might not like what I'm saying or any of the women, you don't have to follow my channel. These are just my thoughts, my perceptions, my opinions. By no means do I suggest this is the truth. You have to decide the truth for yourself. I'm a bit of a contrarian. My advice goes contrary to public opinion and traditional expectations. I would prefer women and men take turns in the beginning stages and then having a serious conversation about it. By the way, in the book, Eight Dates by Drs. John and Julie Gottman, talking about money is a really fucking important conversation. But you guys are so fucking naive to this shit. It's important to talk about this stuff because here's the bottom line. Do you know the number one cause for divorce is money? And to go in there cavalierly and naively is ridiculous. And by the way, I'm speaking to the men here too. Any men watching this? So I'm not talking about splitting the bill on the first date for anyone who might say that, although I think it's very generous when a woman says, hey, I could like to pick up the valet. I'd like to pick up the tip. I'd like to pick up the ice cream afterwards. Demonstrate that you're actually a contributor instead of a taker, because there are a lot of women out there that are takers and a lot of women who don't generate. By the way, there's takers and then there are women who don't show appreciation. A lot of men, like myself included, I, I can't tell you how many countless dates I've been on where I didn't feel appreciated that I picked up the tab. You know, I did that out of generosity. I mean, well, I frankly, <clears throat> I did it out of expectation. A man should never do you. Should, by the way, should should a man expect sex from you? Would you if, if a man said, well, I paid for a date, I expect you to suck my cock. How would you feel if that was the expectation? You'd say, fuck off, dude. Well, that's how it might feel to us if you expect it from us. All right, I went off. I'll probably lose some subscribers right as I speak, but I think it was an important conversation to have. Does anyone agree with me? Say, Jonathan, I agree with what you said about paying for dates. I agree with what you said about paying for dates. Please let me know. Um, okay. All right. 
You know what? Kit Kat says, most men do expect sex regardless of paying for dates. And that's, by the way, that's that's asinine to expect sex, just like expecting sex or expecting men to pay. AM says, I agree with Jonathan. Janet says, I agree with Jonathan. Thank, well, you didn't say Jonathan. Uh, Jennifer says, I love your rants. It made me LOL. <laughs> Thank you so much. Jennifer says, I agree. Oh, you said that. Thank you. Um, all right. Kit Kat says, I agree with you. Thank you so much. Folks. Oh, Arlene says, I believe in contributing only when I see there is effort on their part. Again, that's an expectation, Arlene. What about the effort? Where's the effort on your part? What effort are you showing a man? By the way, that's the key piece because there's a bit of, there's a bit of, of entitlement with that comment. You know, there's a bit of entitlement. I, I, I need to see effort. Well, what effort are you giving? Folks, I got to tell you, people are takers in the early stages. Women are just as bad as men. So I want to call you out on that one. And by the way, I say this with a lot of love, a lot of reverence, a lot of care, but I'm just letting you know, what effort do you demonstrate? And then, okay, and I'm all in favor of, investment and effort and see if it's matched. I'm all, but what are you doing in the first date to demonstrate effort? You just showed up. Is that effort? He shows up. Okay. WVE says, I agree. Watch me pon pole dance. True feminine is a good for both men and women. What hurts women, what hurts women hurts men and vice versa. I agree. Deborah says, I agree with what you say about paying for dates. Mary says, I agree with you said for paying for dates. Thank you. Joan says, I love it when you go off. I agree with what you said about paying for dates needed to be said. Thank you so much. Kimberly says, I agree. I've been taken before and it feels terrible to be used. Exactly. Kit Kat says, Jonathan <laughs> says it how it is. Amen. Oh, I love it. Linda says, I'm old school and I don't agree. Well, I hope it's working. By the way, folks, you can do whatever you want. You can do whatever you want. Just remember, the number one cause for breakups or divorces is money. Um, Daniela says, I agree with what you said about paying for dates. I really do. I want to tell you, I perceive your genuine advice. Thank you so much. Um, Janet says, I'm retired and I always pay or pay. I always pay or pay. <laughs> Thank you. All right. This will be, I think, our last question today from...